this So I've been working so hard oh. changing the Yes. I'm trying to change the system. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello, Wicker. Hello, Wicker. Hello. Hello, everybody. There we go. Sorry, 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 sorry. Welcome, everyone. Um, I want to give you thanks for coming out here today and uh, marching with us, the Allied Site Task Force. And as residents and brothers and sisters, and mothers and fathers, I really appreciate the support. Uh, what we are doing here today is tremendous. Thank you for coming here today. Um, my name is Chris Mba. I am a community organizer here in Kalamazoo. And not only that, I am a father and I am a husband. Um, and I am a son to my mother over there. And uh, this issue uh, of PCBs being in this neighborhood is just it's just not acceptable. Um, these things affect children um, and our ecosystems and we want complete removal. Yeah! So we have a few speakers uh, here today. Um, first, I would like to introduce to you Dick DeVisser. He is a resident and leader of the Homecrest community. Uh, Dick, there you go. I like Dick. Thank you. I want to start out by welcoming everybody to the Homecrest Circle neighborhood. A lot of people don't know we're here. Uh, in some ways that's good, but uh, today it's, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. This is a nice, safe, quiet neighborhood. When you came in Portage Street, you came through the first part of this neighborhood it was uh, developed about the uh, 1930s and 40s. Then later on, the street down the hill here where we are now was developed in the early 1960s. Both of these nice, quiet, safe neighborhoods. But as we go west, we run into this fence here and the yellow signs. That's where the pretty and that's where the nice and the safe stop. We have a super fun site here, as you know, and for 25 years, we have been trying to get this thing dealt with. It is a shameful mess. Now, as soon as you go over the fence, you run into the Portage Creek. That's the same creek that goes through Nolan Park. It could be just that nice here. It isn't. On the other side of the creek, if you look, well, I think the leaves have fixed it so that we can't see it anymore, but right over that way is a pile of 1.2 million cubic yards of PCB laden material. Twelve years ago, the EPA said that they needed to do a uh, temporary remedial action and so they collected up the uh, material on the site and placed it in this pile. Curiously, they did exactly the same thing the paper companies did. They piled it on the ground. The only difference is they put a plastic cover over it. And they told us, in writing, that it wasn't good enough. This was temporary. You can expect it to leak. It's no good for development. And that was the truth. Today, now that a dollar sign has been assigned to the project, suddenly that's not the truth anymore. It's okay. It's not going to leak. And who cares about development anyway? Well, we care about development. Yeah. Right there. 
is a potential tax base for the city. It's potential green space. It's potential commercial development. And it's sitting there waiting for the EPA to do the right thing. Now, as far as that goes, I'm a bit encouraged. We are part way there. As you can see from the sign I put together here, we have our elected officials saying, get the stuff out of here. Yeah. Yeah. We have our city government, our county government, people with common sense, like us taxpayers, <laughs> saying, get the stuff out of here. It's time for the EPA to do the right thing. I hope they're listening. If they aren't, we can shout louder. And with that, Bill Wells from the Edison neighborhood will address you. Thank you, Dick. Thank you for all coming out here. It's just a perfect day and a perfect time. This is a perfect day and a perfect time for all of us to gather together and, and really have the opportunity to tell the EPA that it's time to clean up the mess and get rid of it. And that's what we really want to have happen. Dick said it very well. We have a piece of property 90 acres long that needs to be developed, to be a part of the tax base, and to be used. Uh, we have a, a Celery Flats uh, has a biking and walking trail that could be connected to the South Haven or the Cal Haven Trail. And this is the only thing that's stopping it from happening. That's right. I really believe, because I've grown up in this neighborhood most of my life, and I'm not going to tell you how many years that was, <laughs> but I've raised my family here. And my children are raising their children here. And I don't want them to be left with the pile of PCB material that could cause damage to their lives. I want this uh, property to be used properly. Uh, I know that the EPA was uh, designed to do the right thing for the public, and I think that they want to do the right thing, but they need to have our help in saying, let's do the right thing, and we'll do it together. Yeah. Now, yeah. 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 I'm really encouraged. I'm really encouraged by the number of people that have come, and I look forward to hearing our uh, elected officials speak later on down at the uh, uh, Goodwill uh, end of the uh, site. And uh, I'm uh, uh, all in favor of continuing this fight. We're going to see lots more happen. We've had some very encouraging news with with uh, Senator Stabenow and Levin, Congressman Upton, signing a letter to the. Uh, Region 5 EPA saying that this needs to be taken care of. We also have a number of people that have put their heart and soul into making this happen. Uh, we have had volunteers uh, from Western and Kay College uh, that are uh, working to canvas neighborhoods. We have, I know just an estimate, over 4,000 signatures that, that agree with what we agree with. Now, Allison Geist, who is right over here, she has a, a number of people who are uh, willing to uh, interview residents to give their story and how they have been impacted by this site. So feel free to, to approach her and to approach her team and, and give, them, give them the story, because that story is going to speak volumes to the EPA. Thank you. All right, Phil. Thank you, Bill Wells. Uh, next, I would like to introduce to you Wyatt Smith from K College. Wyatt! Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Wyatt Smith. I'm a junior at Kalamazoo College. Since, oh, sorry. Since the beginning of April, I've been enrolled in a public health service learning course at Kalamazoo. Service learning is essentially a way for Kalamazoo students to get out in the community and better Kalamazoo as, as a city. While this class is for a grade on paper, it has become so much more for my 14 peers and myself. 
Being in this class, I have learned that while I'm a student at Kalamazoo College and one of the nearly 40,000 students in Kalamazoo, I'm also a member of the Kalamazoo community. Working alongside the residents of Kalamazoo has been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life, and working to make this site an area that everyone can enjoy has become a mission for our class and hopefully students everywhere in Kalamazoo. While many may say that this issue only affects the neighborhoods directly uh, near the site, I say this is an issue that affects all of Kalamazoo. Yeah. The possible contamination of our drinking water, if this pile is allowed to sit here indefinitely, is in violation of everyone's right to clean drinking water. Yeah. The communities within Kalamazoo, colleges, universities, neighborhoods, and the city commission need to continue to work together to show the EPA that Kalamazoo is a united community, one that has one voice and one mission, total removal. The EPA has proposed capping this pile of waste and leaving it in the heart of Kalamazoo, a plan that would receive a failing grade if it was proposed in any classroom. The EPA needs to know that the residents of this city will not sit back and allow a pile of waste left here by industry to remain. Thank you. Thank you, Wyatt. All right, um, I would like to start in prayer, um, if everybody does not mind. Father, we thank you for, for this opportunity, my God, uh, to fight for Kalamazoo, and to fight for this country, oh Lord, and fight for our families. And uh, we know that it is by your strength, not ours. So in all things, through Christ, give us strength, oh Lord. Amen. And the God us too. Amen. 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 <laughs> So uh, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Hey. Chris, you gotta keep it tight. Chris, keep it tight. It's on, it's on. Amen. Okay, right on. And then the other one. Yes. Oh, that was your class, bro. It's an easy one. Clean up, not cover up. Hey, 
Marching to the Allied site, home of the notorious nasty toxin PCBs. We want out of the Edison neighborhood. EPA, we've made it clear this poison pile can't. Here. EPA, we've made it clear this poison pile can't stay here. EPA, we've made it clear this poison pile can't stay here. Yeah. 